Hey everyone, uh, we're back at the VMP Ranch. We got the F-150 unloaded from the trailer and we're gonna go find out what that horrible noise coming out of the rear end is. Jesus, I don't know what we're gonna find back there. Maybe a set of spider gears, maybe a, uh, maybe the pinion or the ring gear has teeth torn off. So, Saturday night at Mod Motor Nationals when the track was super sticky and everything was hooking really, really good, I decided to launch the truck at 2,000 RPM and it came out like a bucking Bronco. It wheel hops so fast and so hard, I couldn't do anything to let off soon enough and I broke something in the back end. Um, I don't think anything would have broken had I not have wheel hopped. Um, that's been a problem with this truck in the past and apparently the traction bars are not enough. It like jars the whole truck. There it goes again. I'm backing this thing onto our big four post drive on lift. Jesus, I think I think the whole camera shook when that time that time it happened. I inspected the U joints and the drive shafts um, when this initially happened at the track, and I couldn't see anything. So I feel like it's something inside the diff. But we're gonna get out. We're gonna go find it. <laughs> Kind of the moment of truth, what is the loud banging noise in the rear end of the F-150? This thing was opened up one time before to put a traction lock in it from a Mustang. It's got 331 rear end gears. parts inside yet. Yep, it's the spider gears. Ripped the heck off. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah, right there. That's a, a small chunk of a spider gear. Question is, is the ring gear still good? I mean, lots of little, little chunks in here. We didn't drive it very much, just down to the end of the track, in the trailer and around the parking lot here. So I don't think any of this stuff got kicked up into the ring and pinion. Um, if you drove something like this too much and it got into the ring and pinion, it would absolutely destroy every gear and every bearing in the rear end. From what I can see so far, Everything actually looks pretty good, except for the spider gears. When something like this happens, sometimes you can crack the carrier. But we won't, we won't really know until we get it all apart and we inspect everything. I think I might put this thing up on the, uh, on the rolling trolley jack and see if we can turn it over. I was gonna hop in the truck 
and uh, take this thing out of park, but I don't even have to do that to see what's going on. These torn up gears, spider gears, have so much play in them that I can turn the wheel halfway around before anything happens. It looks like it looks like the spider gears, the smaller ones, in the center of the uh, Ford traction lock or posi. Um, looks like they're most definitely have more than half the teeth torn off. I am going to go throw it in neutral though, just so I can make sure that the ring and pinion gear is still good and we don't need to order new ones. I can spin the uh, driver's side tire and it just spins, nothing happens. The passenger side kind of engages the posi. That explains why the truck would still drive around but sounds absolutely horrible. Cleaning everything up with carb cleaner. The rear end looks really good, except for those spider gears. Pinion looks good, ring gear looks good. This thing's getting a new set of spider gears and it's going, thanks Donnie, <laughs> and it's going right back together. It will live to race another day. This may not be a very expensive fix at all. So, I'm back under the F-150. While I was gone at the PRI show, the shop got the center chunk rebuilt. Uh, they found quite a bit of carnage inside. So, first things first. To fix this, we just ordered a new Mustang carrier and we just pulled the guts out of it. Quick and dirty. We don't have to reset up the ring and pinion or anything. We don't have to mess with the bearings. Um, this is what we found inside the spider gears were trashed really really trashed um and not just the spider gears but these are the clutches and this one was actually metal on metal and the rest of them have almost no friction material left i mean like you can see this one's got friction material peeking out right here so 20,000 miles, pulling out of work, um, getting up to the 65 mile hour speed limit real quick. Pretty much did a number on the clutches. So we've got the new spider gears, new clutches in here. Um, all the debris from breaking these spider gears was very large and we really didn't drive the truck um, just back from the track and into the trailer. We just cleaned it all out of here. We're not worried about the bearings. So we're just going to seal up the cover, put it all back together, put some fluid in it, and drive it. Regular RTV works pretty good on these things. You can use something that is, like this is a gear oil specific RTV right here. Um, it holds up a little bit better. And I always feel like the gray stuff's a little bit stickier. So when I was putting the rear differential cover back on, I noticed that one of the plug welds that helps hold the axle tube into the center chunk, uh, the differential, it started to crack. The other side was fine, but the one side started to crack. So we're gonna do to my truck what we often do to Mustangs, which is weld the axle tube to the uh, center cast iron differential for added strength. bad at all. I did everything I could to make sure this weld would do as good as possible. You can see I ground off the paint that they put on here and I was actually using that heater over there to preheat um, the differential a little bit because this is like 60 degrees here in Florida. So it welded actually really nice. I'm gonna do a little section, I'm gonna do probably sections like that, one to two inches long. 
so I don't get any weird warpage or anything going on. All right, so I just got done welding the diff. Everything came out pretty good. It was a little bit hard to get to the very top of the diff, but I did it. I went all the way around and got both sides. So I don't think you can see much back here with the shadow. I'm gonna throw a little uh, spray paint on it and um, go out and road test it with our special guest, uh, Mike from Autovlog. It's the first time driving my truck since I broke it at Mod Nationals. Take it out to the parking lot here and see how it does. All right, traction control off. Straighten her out. Go check out those black marks. Who would have knew? Street tires, so sticky. I think it's ready to go. So that's pretty much it for now. The truck's uh, fixed after the Mod Nationals race, and we're gonna go out and take advantage of this cool Florida weather and see if we can get a 10 second time out of it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video to see more like it.